to have my mom here to start the applause. Huh? <laughs> Good evening, folks. Enjoy a wonderful evening of, uh, of music. We'll share some holiday tunes as well. Thank you to uh, Brendan, <laughs> Brendan and Kevin uh, uh, starting things out in the lobby. Many of us doing shopping and such. Enjoy a nice evening full of music that we share together and we'll end up in the lobby and uh, I hope someone brought some for me. Here is Flurry for Winds and Percussion by our second period council. Time that's happening now. We're finding that uh, once kids get a feel for a classroom, that instead of taking them and placing them somewhere else, it's a nice chance to find out if it's going to work with her and us. Uh, and it is. And uh, she's got a lot of advantages going on. I'm afraid both her parents are band directors as well. And uh, she's uh, yeah. So it's uh, like uh, yeah. You know, how how can you help but not know what four four time is when you've been raised by two band parents? Uh, we're glad to have Erin here and she'll be with us for the rest of the year, uh, though I don't just do that uh, uh, observation stuff. I, I, I don't do that. She was uh, she observed for a couple days and then on and off, but she's been teaching and she's doing a number with uh, two of our bands this evening. And then she's uh, taking off tomorrow morning for uh, Chattanooga and uh, she gets a free trip to the, the U of M marching band. Pretty nice deal. Here is uh, Astro Overture and our almost student teacher, Erin Knutson. Let me get her. She's probably in the hallway keeping kids quiet.
uh, we'll, we'll share a, a holiday food snuck inside a march, man. I, for me, that's like bonus. I, I, uh, I, I can't remember how and why I ended up uh, looking up and finding and getting this march. Uh, Bay State is obviously uh, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, and I got it. It wasn't what I wanted. I read it through with one of my bands, and by the time we got to the third freight, to the third strain, it was like, oh, 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 even though I can't use this for what I thought it was, I can use it with these bands during holiday time. So you'll hear, uh, Oh Come All You Faithful, uh, as the lead line to the uh, third and final strain of State State March. Thank you so much. This will be our final number with uh, our concert band. I want to make sure that, that Jake gets on camera. <laughs> Thank you to Charlie Russell, who's shooting our video. He came back to me during my ball time and said, hey, whoever's playing the mallet back there, they're never going to get on camera. So, your mama always be thrilled. <laughs>
Ah, now a little bit of jazz, folks. Uh, it makes the set changes so nice to be able to use the pit like this. It may be a little bright up here, but it won't be dangerous at all. Okay. <laughs> Here's another tune from the Ellington book of the great series through jazz at, uh, at uh, what was it? essentially Ellington Jazz at Lincoln Center. Our nation's capital and that wonderful facility back there. Many times PBS concerts live at Lincoln Center and the musical director is Whit Marsalis, a huge trumpet player. Uh, there's six or seven new charts every year that they put out absolutely free to high school bands around the, the country. All we have to do is ask for it. And many of them we can't touch because they're pro-level charts. They're not arrangement. They're the charts that Duke Ellington's band played. But about one in every three or four we can get to. And sometimes we have to mess with it. This is an original Ellington chart played by the Ellington band. It's called Jeep's Blues. It'll feature a whole bunch of cats playing uh, F Blues over top of it. without me being around. Uh, I, I take it off Chicago in the morning and we've got another gig on, uh, on Thursday. So try to give uh, the members a chance to be able to figure out how to do stuff on their own. Uh, here's a 
Oh, it's, it's a sampling from our uh, uh, New Year's Eve gigs. Please, you're welcome to come on down. We've done first night since it began. I don't know how many years ago. I applied the first time. It's a great time for our kids to be able to, to uh, grab a hold of the history of big bands. And we play tunes from the 40s and all the way up through the 80s. Uh, uh, mostly big band tunes on the best dance floor in western Montana, which everyone knows is the Senior Citizen Center. They peel it out of a, out of a roller rink years ago, and they got that floor, thinking ahead. Uh, big band music from 2 to 4 at the beginning of first night celebrations, uh, along with getting two sets and the kids getting paid for it. They also get a free badge to go and... Uh, uh, do great things at first night. There's, there's wonderful music and real musicians getting paid uh, all night long. I hope that the, they and you come and, and hear the, the Ed Norton band, that, uh, a band that I play in. We're, we're picking the new year off, hopefully with Kaylin Kretzbeck singing uh, um, Old Lang Syne with the band. Here is a, a teaser for you. Happen to be a Beatles tune. It's a, the year of the Beatles. Here's yesterday. solo from that Barry Sachs. That's a beautiful sound. Well, I do what the cop tells me to do. <laughs> and more so than just once, they have both Barry's. Uh, Brent has been playing guitar in the band as well. Uh, he's really a fine Barry Sachs player. He and Kevin now. Here's Winter Wonderland featuring uh, 
two of the best, most beautiful sounding berry saxes in the state. These kids know how to play the berry sax. This was your entertainment in the lobby if you hung out there for a little while, folks. Here's Winter Wonderland.
Uh, I can't lose with a nice, with a nice march, Fred Jewell march. Uh, we've had some substitutions tonight for a number of reasons. I don't know, two players have been taking a toll here. I'd like to thank Eric Anderson for sitting in with the concert band with us. Uh, I have an appendectomy on one tuba player and a broken collarbone on the other tuba player. So thank you for Eric for sitting in and, and, and playing the gig with us. And because of all this football mania, see, we lost a, a percussionist in this band. Uh, the Paulson daddy is the defensive coordinator for the Grizz and made those kids go along to Chattanooga with his football. <laughs> oh, poor kids. I'd like to thank uh, Ashton Squires for sitting in with uh, this band tonight and filling out a few parts. Uh, here is a beautiful, uh, sweet Irish tune called Irish Hickey. Assembled this call, and I'm thinking about repertoire and uh, 
thought about this piece. It's a holiday piece, kind of. It's a French Huron Indian carol. Uh, so it's got a, a twinge of holiday to it. Uh, and at Native American, we're trying hard to find music of good quality, literature of good quality to play with uh, our bands. You know, it wasn't a medium of Native American music tradition. Uh, that uh, it's just a beautiful piece of music. And, and as soon as we played the first note, uh, I just remember cueing. It happened to be Mindy was right there. Some of these kids uh, ha have had Mindy as a, as a teacher. That's how freaking old I am. But I remember. I cued this first part that part, and the visual went right back to Mindy Hanson, who's now married. What's her name? Yeah. Hammett. And she teaches over at, uh, at uh, Porter. And she was a student of mine when I taught at Big Sky uh, a number of years ago. So it's fun to, to take out literature and, and, and do it again and do it with another whole group of kids. It's a beautiful piece of music. And the kids want to end with this one. It ends real nice and light and gentle. So it's an unusual way to end the fourth of the concert. I think that you'll appreciate it. Here's Twas in the Mood of Winter Time.
the time we finally get to the stage, it's pretty hot up here, and it really raises heck with our pitch. But it's so nice. I know, uh, and maybe a little warm out there as well, but uh, just being able to play in the auditorium. Uh, I, it's a lot of extra work for a lot of extra people. Uh, it's just so nice to be able to play in a place that was meant for performance. And uh, uh, even though we did barely fit on stage with this band, it's really a nice place to be. It's a little warm. We get the back door open, so the back half of the band is starting to feel that breeze coming in. It affects our pitch a little bit. We'll, we'll continue to work on it. Uh, here's a just uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, carol. I don't know if to call it simply the Italian carol. Carol, and it's just a wonderful arrangement of a sweet tune. Uh, there are members of the band that play about one note <coughs> for all three minutes. And it is so incredibly beautiful. Please enjoy. I'm sure you. Uh, 
besides my own fascination for them in history, uh, everyone in the band's got something as technical to play as a great way to, to work technique on a horn uh, as, a, as a, a, a method, a foundation for getting fingers to work. Everyone in the band's got something they had to practice on. Here is the referee.
problems that we have in the springtime are a, a takeoff from the real promenades in, in many of our home countries. The Brits are still crazy about promenades. And these songs, uh, we even found a host of uh, YouTube uh, sites and, and uh, uh, examples of the, these proms with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra playing all these tunes, rich and lush. They're a set of uh, British uh, sailing tunes uh, finished up with Rule Britannia. It's a, a, a toast to all, everything and all things Britain, and you'll recognize some of the tunes. It's a wonderful set. Don't be fooled. You'll know the end when you hear Rule Britannia.
to them, but it's a great one. And uh, uh, what a teaching piece. Kids, uh, kids learn a lot of music with that piece of music. We got our money's worth. That was suggested to me by Bill Holland, orchestra teacher at uh, Back East right now. What a great piece of music. Uh, here's a, a tribute piece to a hymn written by Lowell Mason. Lowell Mason, probably not known to you, but uh, he's known to all us music geeks. He's the, uh, the, the fellow who first taught music in a public school, it happened to be in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. The first time we had music ed happening in our schools, and we're a, an unusual nation to be able to have free public music education in our schools every single day. That's why we honor him. Besides being a wonderful tune uh, in a very challenging key. So it's, uh, it, 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 it's more work than what it sounds like. It's a uh, hidden tune of Lowell Mason.
Thank you so much for coming and sharing the music. I'm hoping they'll play the fudge out there and the hot apple cider. Thank you, band parents, so many folks. Thank you for your donations to food banks. We'll make sure they're in the right spot. Uh, have a wonderful holiday season. Thanks for sharing your gifts with me and uh, and all of us to be able to make music with you. It's a cool thing, man. And uh, hold on, I, got, I kept trying to get out of this tune. Fred, if you're out there, you even predated Fred. Fred told me it was happening here before he got here. Well, every year I, I hope that somebody won't bring it up, but uh, here it is, and it's too much fun. Here is Leroy Anderson's Slay Right. 